Every time I sit here, I feel like a news reporter. Justin from Brooklyn, New York, breaking news. Man tries to rob a bank and threatens to file a complaint against them for having no cash. He is described as a Latino man between 5'9 and 6'7, wearing a do-rag and nonetheless Timberland boots. Back to you, Jesus. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the vlog. So we're currently on our way to Trader Joe's and I love Trader Joe's. I really wish we had one closer to home, but we don't. And the last time we were there, Jesus kind of got into it with the manager because he was filming in there and there was no filming allowed. So we just haven't gone there in a while, but there are some things that I want to get there that I can't find at other supermarkets, like Ezekiel bread. I'm hoping that they have it in stock because I've been looking for Ezekiel bread everywhere and I can't find it, especially now that I'm eating better. We're all trying to get back on the healthy train, especially after the holidays. I've been looking for Ezekiel bread everywhere and I just can't seem to find it in regular supermarkets supermarkets and I had to go to Google and Google told me that Trader Joe's actually has it for the best price so I'm hoping that they have it in stock I'm gonna go check it out Trader Joe's is so cheap, man. I don't know why I didn't come here sooner. It's been a long time since we've been here and I think it's because it's out of the way from where we live. But even organic things are really cheap, like three, four bucks. And just everything in general, when it comes to clean eating, I prefer to just buy it here. We're definitely gonna keep going to BJ's for certain things because they have bulks of food. But for healthier things, I'm definitely gonna be coming back over here more often because I wanted to stay in there for much longer than I needed to. I had Jesus and the baby away from me in the car. I ran in there for a couple of things and I just wanted to keep looking around they have all types of stuff do you guys shop at trader joe's let me know are you a trader joe's kind of person or a whole foods person and if you do shop at trader joe's what are some of your favorite things that you buy there maybe i could pick it up next time we go around mob so lately I've been getting a lot of questions as to what I do during my workout routines what I eat during the day when I post my green smoothies and things like that on Instagram if you guys don't follow me on Instagram you definitely should so I figured it'll be helpful to make a little what I eat in a day video for y'all since I actually love to watch these types of videos so the first thing I like to drink every morning is a green smoothie right after my workout I actually make it the night before since I don't want to make noise in the morning with the blender everybody's sleeping so let me show you how I make that the first thing that I like to add to my green smoothie is spinach I'm taking about two and a half handfuls of spinach but that's because I'm making three portions of it just so that I can prep ahead of time so I like to add this in there first I'm also gonna throw in an entire Fuji apple that I've already cut up. Then I like to throw in an entire banana. Next, I'm adding hemp seeds. This has a lot of great protein, a lot of great benefits to it, so I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of this. The next thing I'm gonna add is this Super Greens powder. This has wheatgrass, it has kale, moringa, and spirulina. So before I used to use spirulina when I made my green juices, and I really liked it, but then I found this one at Target, and it's a mix of everything. Also has some great benefits to it. I've been using it for about two weeks or so, and I really like it. The one thing that I will say though is that it smells exactly like fish food. When I mix it in with everything, I don't taste it at all. Just a little FYI, it smells like fish food. It doesn't smell good at all, but the benefits are worth it. So I add about a teaspoon of this and I've always added water to my green juices but I'm making it more of a smoothie nowadays and I really like it with almond milk I kind of eyeball it let's see I think I'm gonna put about I'd say that's about a cup I think that's pretty good let's see this is all that I add to it I'm gonna mix this up for about three minutes just because I like it nice and blended once I do that I'll add some ice <laughs> Thank you. 
So I've blended it for three minutes just because I like it nice and blended. The last thing that I'm gonna add is some ice. Blend that for another minute and it's done. And those are my three portions. It's super simple and that's the first thing that I like to have every single morning right after my workout. So yeah, I make it the night before and then I drink one every morning, which I just had a little while ago. It was delicious. I know you guys have seen me make green juice a lot in the videos and it always switches up, but that's pretty much been consistent since I started eating healthier again. That's the same green smoothie that I have every single day. Now, usually after I have my green smoothie, I'll wait about an hour or so and then I like to eat my overnight oats. With my overnight oats, I'll either make them the night before or I'll just make them before I work out every morning because they take about two hours for them to be ready to eat. The oats are very easy to make. They only take a few ingredients and this is how I make that. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys what I add into my overnight oats. It's very simple so the first thing that I take is the oven toasted old-fashioned organic oats that I bought at Trader Joe's I just basically take half a cup of these oats I'll take half a cup of almond milk throw that in and then I like to add a little bit more just because I need a little more than the oats in there so after I add the extra splash of milk I go ahead and add some cinnamon I like a lot of cinnamon so I would say this is about a teaspoon and afterwards I add a little more but that's good for now. Then I'll throw in about one eighth of a teaspoon of vanilla, pure vanilla extract. Then I like to add a tablespoon of these organic chia seeds. I also bought these at Trader Joe's. I add a tablespoon of organic maple syrup. Bought this at BJ's. Just mix it up. Now all I have to do is cover it up. This is gonna go into the fridge for at least two hours. I would prefer to do it overnight, but I usually do it in the mornings because after two hours, it's fully done. And once it's fully done, I'll show you guys what else I put on top. Now that it's ready, this is what I put on top. Just a few almonds. So the breakfast portion is usually what stays consistent throughout my days. I switch it up here and there with the oatmeal. What I do like to switch up is my lunch and my dinner, of course. I don't want to get tired of eating the same thing every day. And there's so many options of what I like to eat every day. As a matter of fact, for lunch today, I'm going to be having some avocado toast. So I'm definitely going to show you guys how I make that. All right, so while my griddle heats up, I'm gonna get started on my avocado. I usually take half of it, perfectly ripe, remove the seed, take it out. I keep it very simple. I just squeeze a little bit of lemon onto it. Then I like to throw in some everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's. If I don't add this, I usually add the garlic and herb seasoning from Mrs. Dash. But today I'm gonna put some of this in there because it already has salt included, a little bit. Mash it up and put that off to the side. The bread that I like to use is Ezekiel bread. This is actually ideal if you are eating healthy because it's much better for you than a lot of the other bread out there. So there's 80 calories per slice. There's zero sugar included. It's just great overall. So let's get started on our eggs. Last thing I like to add to my avocado toast is a little more of the seasoning on top and some red pepper flakes. And this is my lunch, avocado toast, you got some eggs on top, the yolk is soft but not too soft, it's just perfect with the red pepper flakes on top, Woo! delicious. I actually really like that Ezekiel bread. I could recommend it to anybody who's eating healthier because it doesn't taste so bad. Like I've had wheat bread before and there's certain wheat breads that I just can't eat. I can't swallow it. I don't know, it tastes funny to me. That one didn't have a bad taste though. And like I said, the calories are not bad and there's no sugar. Every bread that I've seen always has at least two grams of sugar. I think the lowest I saw was one gram and that's the one that I ended up not liking. So I'm definitely gonna be going back to Trader Joe's for some more of that Ezekiel bread. But yeah, stay tuned for dinner tonight. I'm definitely gonna show y'all what I'm gonna cook for myself. I'm also really excited to eat dinner because I'm gonna be eating dessert after. It's still healthy, although I'm gonna be treating myself. So we all gonna have to wait for that till later on today. Right now, I'm actually waiting for Jesus and he's taking forever. There's some errands that we need to run, but stay tuned for the end of this video. I'm gonna show y'all how I make that dinner and satisfy my sweet tooth.
almost a year ago Jesus bought me some airpods and I love those airpods I use them for everything I use them in the morning when I work out I use them when I clean the house whenever I'm not blasting music but I always have to be listening to music I went to use them yesterday when I was gonna work out they were dead completely dead even though I charged them overnight I went ahead I put them back on the charger once I was done with my workout I checked them again and they were still dead so I left them on there for the rest of the day I checked again and it was still dead so I don't know what's going on with them I showed them to Jesus he checked the serial number and when he went online it turns out that I have about a month left of warranty you know they give you a limited warranty when you buy them I believe it's for a year so he went and scheduled an appointment and that's where we're heading now to Apple I don't know if they're gonna fix them or they're gonna replace them but whatever it is we're gonna handle that today because I need my airpods Kim is actually gonna wait in the car It's too cold out here to be running around with the baby I'm actually a half hour early I don't know if they're gonna see me right away Hopefully they do If they don't then I guess I'm gonna have to wait in there This shouldn't really take too long It should be in and out Depending on how many people are in here Man, back to the cold. Okay, that was fairly quick. The lady was very professional. She took care of everything right away. Didn't give me no hassle. She actually replaced the entire unit, the case and the headphones. There was really nothing wrong with the headphones, but she said, you know what? In case you have any trouble, since your warranty is about to expire, you might as well just swap both of them. So she did that, I appreciate it. Hold out here, right, Grayson? Mm. Yeah, no. <laughs> So we back home now and I'm just so happy that that warranty came through. Apple decided to just replace my AirPods for me. I was assuming they were just going to give me like a new charger base for it since that was the issue in the first place. But they gave me everything brand new, even the headphones. So make sure you always check that warranty. Sometimes when you buy something, you get frustrated after it stops working or it breaks like I did today. I was actually going to go ahead and buy a new set of these. And look, Jesus checked it for me and it turns out that I saved myself 160 bucks. You guys already saw my breakfast. You saw my lunch. I'm about to start prepping for dinner so follow me to the kitchen these are the ingredients that i'm going to be throwing into my stir fry i've already chopped everything up for you guys so today i'm going to be using some broccoli some red and green peppers some garlic some onions i like to switch up the ingredients every now and then but for the most part i like to stick to these little things and then i'm also going to be adding some shrimps today five pieces of shrimp that i season with mrs dash garlic and herb seasoning and this is the rice that I like to use. It's the Seeds of Change organic brown and red rice with chia and kale. I only use about half of it. I love this rice. Sometimes I add red pepper flakes while I'm cooking it, but today I'm gonna be adding some sriracha because you need a little bit of spice in there. So I'll just put a little bit of that on top, not too much. And that's it, that's my dinner. I 
thing about me is I have a sweet tooth and there's things that I want to be eating like ice cream that I can't necessarily eat right now. So I looked up a healthier version of chocolate ice cream because you know most of us women love chocolate. And I found this one. So this is actually called chocolate nice cream. And what you're going to need is some frozen bananas. You're going to need some cocoa powder, unsweetened of course, some pure vanilla extract, and some almond milk. And these chocolate chips are just to sprinkle on top. They're the semi-sweet chocolate chips from Trader Joe's. All right, so I'm going to add three half pieces of bananas that I froze overnight. I'm throwing in a teaspoon of the unsweetened cocoa powder. I'm adding a splash of vanilla. That's about one eighth teaspoon. The last thing I'm gonna add is the almond milk. I'm not gonna add too much because remember, we're trying to have the consistency of ice cream, so it has to be nice and thick. So I'm starting with a tablespoon, and then if I need to add more, I will while it's blending, but that's about it. I love this Ninja Blender because it has different settings. Like I wanna make ice cream, it already has a button for it, and it does all the work for me. As you can see is nice and blended but it looks a little runny so we have to let it sit in the freezer for about an hour I'm probably gonna let it sit for about half an hour because my freezer it just freezes everything really fast but right now it looks like a milkshake so we want it to be scoopable put it in a bowl and let it sit in the freezer for an hour just wrap it up and put it in there All right, so it's been half an hour. I didn't want to wait too long because I don't like to eat past seven o'clock. This is what it's looking like. It's not extremely hard, but the edges are obviously harder than the middle. I'm gonna mix it up and I'm only gonna take a little bit. This is only to satisfy my sweet tooth. Usually after I eat, I'll drink one last green juice and that's it. But since I've been thinking about ice cream for the past two weeks, I decided to reward myself and give myself just a little bit. That's all I'm gonna have, you know, just to satisfy the craving and just sprinkle some of the semi-sweet chocolate chips on top and that's about it. This is the last thing that I'm gonna eat. This is my little reward and anything after seven o'clock is just green tea. That's the only thing I have past that point and water, of course. This ice cream is everything, you guys. I ended up adding a tablespoon of cocoa powder instead of just a teaspoon because I felt like it wasn't enough. And now it's just right. Just a little disclaimer, I'm not a professional. I just know what works for me. This method that I'm doing now, which is the small portion method, is exactly what I did when I gave birth to Grayson and I shed all of my baby weight that way. And ever since I started this time around, I've actually already shed nine pounds. So I know it's effective. Basically what I do is I eat my small portions throughout the day. I'm not a calorie counter because I feel like that'll kind of drive me crazy. Although I am cautious of what I eat and I look at all the nutrition facts to everything now. And for me personally, I can't go long periods of time without eating. So I like to eat my small portions and then I don't eat past seven o'clock. So that's basically my eating regimen along with drinking a lot of green tea. I have two green teas a day and then I'll have my two smoothies with the exception of tonight because I rewarded myself. That along with my intense workouts is what helped me drop nine pounds in two weeks. I'm pretty proud of that. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. If you're trying to get into healthier eating habits, I hope that you enjoyed this and you can get some ideas from my meals. I obviously eat different things every day. I switch it up, but that's just what I had today. If you guys ever have any questions about anything that I make, you can always comment down below or you can contact me on Instagram. I always answer my messages there to people who have questions for me. And if you guys enjoy these segments, let me know. I'll definitely do more of these because like I said, I love watching these. So hopefully y'all enjoyed it too. Now this is just what I've been eating lately. This is my healthy regimen, but I'm still going to be making the regular cooking videos. Don't worry for you guys who do enjoy those. I'm still going to be making that pernil, the good stuff that everybody likes to see. All the dishes that I was brought up eating, I'm still going to be making that stuff and sharing it with you. Actually, Yolanda's birthday is coming up and I think that I'm gonna make her a cheesecake because she really likes the way that I make cheesecake and I haven't made it here on the channel yet so stay tuned for that I really love cheesecake so I might just end up taking a bite of that but yeah we're gonna keep it fun we're gonna keep it fresh you're gonna keep doing these types of videos if you guys want to see them so that's it Meza Mob. hopefully y'all enjoyed this vlog and this new segment that we have going on here thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see y'all in our next video Bye.